If you haven't had an opportunity to watch episode 5 of Marvel's Daredevil, stop listening now, I'm going to spoil this, here we go. Fisk moves forward with plans that threaten to rip Hell's Kitchen apart. Murdoch and Foggy take a case helping tenants victimized by a slumlord. I gotta give this episode 10 out of 10 stars, man. Um, one of the best cliffhanger endings that I've ever witnessed, man. It was crazy. I was thinking to myself, like, how the hell is he gonna get out of this, man? The end of the episode, we get Daredevil, like, with his hands up. The cops have him surrounded. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how the hell he's gonna get out of this. Either the Russians are gonna come save him. Um, they're going to take him into custody, and maybe he escapes on the way to prison. I, I don't know, man. I have no clue. Don't know. Or maybe he's just going to take off running, man. But uh, it's definitely it's definitely on, man, um, for episode six, which is called uh, Condemned. And um, let me see. We get a little bit more background information about uh, William uh, Fisk, a.k.a. Kingpin. Uh, Kingpin has a little bit of uh, relatability as far as his character is concerned with Daredevil. He lost his father at a young age, so did uh, Murdoch. And um, it looks like uh, Vanessa, who, you know, obviously in the comic books is Vanessa uh, Fisk, um, is, is getting a little bit closer to um, Fisk himself. So it looks like they're probably going to continue on throughout the rest of this episode because tonight... They showed, or not tonight, during this episode, they showed uh, the entire uh, Hell's Kitchen city start blowing up in some of the different, um, um, how do you want to say it, suburbs or, um, or ghettos, not suburbs, but, uh, but ghettos blowing them up as far as, I don't know if you want to say uh, tax write-offs um, to clear land to, um, to pretty much to shape Hell's Kitchen in the way that Wilson Fisk wants Hell's Kitchen to go, okay? And he talked about that today, about, um, you know, shaping Hell's Kitchen and turning it into a better place and et cetera, et cetera. He has a dream for it, and he wants Hell's Kitchen to look a certain way, and then he won't stop until his dream is fulfilled. And um, Vanessa actually sat there, and she watched the whole entire city burn, and he let her know what was going on, and she didn't walk away. <clears throat> also, she... Um, she gave her a little 22 uh, pistol caliber pistol to him because he said that the safest spot that for you to be in is right next to me and so i think she fell for it man um if you're a fan of man is still you're obviously going to recognize her um that is definitely mother uh, l and um she is unrecognizable inside of this um um show and that reason why is because of just her caliber of uh, acting i think that she's just absolutely uh fascinating man one of my favorite characters on the actual show right now is vanessa she goes all the way up to top uh spot number one uh fo followed by claire and then uh karen and then um uh, murdoch and then foggy and then um I, I think fist is gonna probably be at the top one of these times but as of right now right not not right now um but he's definitely very interesting okay so fisk in episode four in the blood started a war with russians in uh, number five, he executes that command and he blows up a lot of the Russians, man. I think there's maybe like two or three left. And we find out that um, Turk, who the, who was the black dude from episode one and also a um, the black guy from episode four who kind of helps out the Russians or thought you thought that he was going to help out the Russians is actually a traitor um, inside of uh, episode four. And he just takes the money and run and he gets the money from Wesley. Wesley is uh, Fisk. Um, best friend or good friend he's a friend of Fisk um, which is very rare for Kingpin to have friends so um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see if if uh, Wesley survives this series and then if he does die or if Daredevil kills him how is that going to change Kingpin those are kind of my questions man um Foggy and Karen are getting a little bit closer uh Claire is starting to I guess fall in love for Daredevil which I, I think is just ridiculous as shit she doesn't even know this blind man but yet she's you know letting him tap that ass it just doesn't make any sense man kissing him and, and stuff like that you don't even know the dude I understand he rescued you or whatever but it's it's pretty pretty damn crazy man that a vigilante uh can get those draws so quick man you should have a little bit more respect for yourself and and even marvel should have a little bit more respect for the character man i think it's ridiculous um but that's all i'm going to say about that um I, I, I'm serious. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Uh, <laughs> they uh, they showed a little bit more um, universe building inside of here. Um, you know, as far as Hell's Kitchen, they showed you a little bit 
um, uh, different sides of it. They showed you the ghettos. They showed you the suburbs. They showed you um, uh, the court system. They, they've showed you a whole lot of stuff, man. I guess it's going to continue on, man. So Hell's Kitchen is definitely alive, and um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm not going to lie about that. Let me see, man. What else? What else is going on? I think that's pretty much about it, man. This one was just, you know, um, an ass-kicking episode, man. Like, like Daredevil was out there kicking ass, and he did some pretty crazy moves. He gets blown up at the end, and then uh, he recovers, man. And, and I think every single episode that I've seen so far, is so, if, he, if the Daredevil went down, he gets back up. And he talked about that in episode one and two, especially with the cut man um, with his dad. His dad told him to get back up, and um, no matter if you get, keep getting knocked down, get back up. And uh, you kind of see that inside of his character, man. Anyway, guys, we're done with this one. We're going to head over to episode six. I think I covered everything. If I forgot something, put it in the comment uh, box or, or comment on it and look in the description box. I might add something to it. But uh, other than that, man, if you um, didn't didn't get a chance to uh, watch the episode, man, just try to catch up on Netflix. It's like $8.99. It's really, really cheap. Um, other than that, man, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Man. We're out here.